Welcome guys, my name is Snowmountain64 with some exciting Battlefield Hardline news for you. We got a ton of leaked images from Hardline. I woke up this morning with messages, tweets from you guys, as well as the community buzzing about the Rad Gamer Dan. Link to him in the description down below, the Twitter, as well as the image gallery. He leaked out a ton of icons, camos, the uh, symbols that you can use to design your logos, some gadget shots, weapons, a ton of stuff, and I'm going to go through it all with you guys here. First off, we have all of the emblems. So when you level up, these are all of the ranks. Now, I've condensed them down to a simpler format with just kind of the unique ones. It goes in order of clubs, diamonds, hearts, spades, king, queen, and then the final level 150 king. Uh, about every five levels, the design will change, which is pretty reminiscent, but it's based on kind of those playing card characteristics. Next, I have for you the golden knife camos. Now, they have a ton of images here, but We've seen a lot of this uh, just playing the beta before. And a lot of it's not new. Some of the weapons, the designs, as well as you can see, a gold, golden sledgehammer at the bottom, which looks like... Uh, I, I haven't seen a sledgehammer, but there was a normal and gold version of that, which could be really sick. Looking at some of the other weapons, classic noob tubes, pistols, AK, um, taser even there, and we'll go through the equipment here now. A lot of stuff we can already expect, defibs, medkit, but there's some unique things on here that I don't know or have some speculation of what they are. Uh, one of the more unique things here is the very top right, this is a sound box, I believe this is a decoy type device, so you put it down and it'll decoy. Um, on the bottom of this screen it's Molotov cocktail, but the grenade on the right, I'm not sure if that's like a trip mine, and then in the middle there's two different types of gas masks here. On the left there's one, but on the middle there's also a different type of one with what looks like sound waves on it, which could be something more like TAC Mask from uh, Call of Duty, maybe preventing stuns from affecting you. Moving over to the left, the unique thing that I see here is two ammo crates, right? This could just be different between what side you're playing on. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but the other thing is this camera in the middle, which also reminds me of Call of Duty Black Ops 1 camera spike. It could be something like that, which could allow you to put it down and use a small screen to see what's happening there if you want to watch something or uh, uh, just maintain something or this could just be a small feature within the game like using cameras in buildings um which would be really cool like if you're on defense in a bank heist you can use the cameras to see where people are coming from without actually having to go there which would help with tactical play but of course this is just speculation finally the last couple of things here is one there's a flare on the bottom here at least that's what i think it is we also had one of these at the top that was a different color so i'm just speculating this could just be flares like we have in battlefield 4 now the bottom left though we have a steering wheel i'm thinking this could imply maybe there's some type of perk or uh, equipment that you could put on that would make you a better driver better handling better for escaping situations especially like in a game mode like blood money that extra drive driving maneuverability and uh, speed could be a dividing factor we also have a ballistics vest on the right hand side which could increase your health which i'm kind of skeptical and worried about but at the same time it could just be for explosions and now let's take a look at the camos. I got the weapon camos as well as what I'm assuming is the player camos here. First off, your eyes instantly pop right to the top for something that we haven't seen in Battlefield before. Much more kind of more reminiscent of Call of Duty of some bright flashy colors. These mainly being red, green, and blue. And then that red zebra stripe one at the top. That looks really sick. I personally like all the fun camos, especially if there's something difficult that you have to do to unlock them. Now, the current unlock system is all cash, right? You spend your cash and you can unlock whatever you want, much more similar to kind of the Call of Duty series as well in that you can choose what you want to unlock, at least in games like Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and the most recent Advanced Warfare. In Hardline System, which I'll talk about more in another video, essentially comes down to you getting kills, winning games, earning cash, and then spending it. I like having at least some system that makes you work towards something, right? You can farm a bunch of cash and get whatever you want. That's fun, um, but... I think it's nice to have something unique. Like if you have some of those special camels, camos being something that you need to earn and work towards. It makes the game 
more playable for longer periods of time rather than just unlocking what you want. It's nice having something to work towards on the side. Next, we'll take a look at the what looks to be like player camos. I'm thinking this could also be a vehicle type camo. The second layer down almost looks like leather from a seat. So could be a possibility, but the bottom row, at least the bottom right, definitely looks like some classic digital camo, probably on a backpack or pants. And uh, there you go. It doesn't look like there's anything too unique on the player camo side, but again, it's still early. And of course, you don't really want to stand out too much uh, when you're trying to camo in. Next, we have some of the optics. Top right, you can see there's a couple different scopes there. To me, this looks like unique lenses that you can put on before you aim down sight, the scope that you actually look into, that piece. And in terms of unlocking it, it could be something similar to like gold camo where it's unique, that gold and white one uh, that you can unlock. A lot of the other optics, flash hiders, things we've seen in previous Battlefield games. But the other thing to note here is all the different colored double XPs. You can see one of them has a sniper icon, an engineer icon. Maybe this applies to a specific class or a specific game mode. You can see capture the flag type flag icons on the bottom right. Or it could be maybe where you earned that double XP from. I'm thinking that it's more towards a specific mode, and this could be a way to get people to play a specific mode. You know, if you get this unlocked for Team Deathmatch, if there's there's not a lot of people playing Team Deathmatch, maybe they'll put out a bunch of double XPs for that, which could be a good way to get people playing different things. Here's some of the metal icons or um, medallions, most likely those big ones that you earn for doing a whole bunch of stuff. Lots of really cool designs, and uh, I'm sure those are going to be fun to unlock. And speaking of unlocking, we talked about the level up, leveling up earlier. We'll go to this list first of what looks to me like a bunch of patches for soldiers. Now, I don't know how this would be actually applied, if you could wear it on your uh, outfits or how this would show up, but to me, it looks like little patches. And getting to the bottom of this list, I noticed something very interesting. A level 1 to 15 separate from our previous icons that I showed you guys at the beginning of this video and these look like police badges which to me is indicating that there's some other way to level up or there's something else that you can rank up it could be something small or it could be something maybe like a cooperative game mode or something that could be on the side or even maybe just the single player campaign who knows but the last thing on the list that I wanted to show you guys were all of these little pictures that they had which I'm assuming are for probably the campaign or even the heist missions, how sometimes they'll have that little intro like we saw with the bank heist, with the camera crew recording downtown LA with the robbery in progress. Could be things for that. Or continuing our speculation from earlier, could be assets for a multiplayer co-op mode. Very similar to Payday 2 type of look with some of the assets uh, if you've ever played that game. And finally, a quick look at some of the symbols which you can use to create your emblems. Um, but again, link to all of these are in the description down below if you want to see them a little bit closer up. I went through kind of my thoughts of them here and some of my uh, speculation of what they could mean. Be sure to subscribe if you guys are new. I'm going to be covering a lot more for Hardline, especially coming up very soon. And I have some more ideas of cool stuff that could be implemented into the game, which I want to hear your guys' thoughts on. But thanks so much for watching. Click a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Stone Mountain 64 signing out. Thank you.